Hello, everyone. Good morning. It is Sunday, May the 30th, and um, it is the Lord's Day. And so I welcome you to our time of um, being in his word and spending uh, a little bit of time in prayer as we start off this Lord's Day on this Memorial Day weekend. And as we um, remember those who gave their all for us, but above all, we remember the one who gave his all for us. We are in John chapter 19, and speaking of giving his all, we have come to the spot where Jesus is crucified. We closed out yesterday's time together by Pilate turning Jesus over to the um, Jewish religious leaders and to the Roman guards to be crucified. And so at the conclusion of verse 16 and following, the Bible says this, so they took Jesus away. Carrying the cross by himself, he went to the place called the place of the skull, which is in Hebrew, Golgotha. There they nailed him to the cross. Two others were crucified with him, one on either side with Jesus in between them. And Pilate posted a sign on the cross that read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. The place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and the sign was written in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek, so that many people could read it. Then the leading priests objected and said to Pilate, change it from the King of the Jews to, he said, I am King of the Jews. Pilate replied, no, what I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they divided his clothes among the four of them. They also took his robe, but it was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said, rather than tearing it apart, let's throw dice for it. This fulfilled the scripture that says, they divided my garments among themselves and threw dice for my clothing. So that is what they did. Standing near the cross were Jesus' mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother standing there beside the disciple he loved, he said to her, Dear woman, here is your son. And he said to this disciple, Here is your mother. And from then on, this disciple took her into his home. So Jesus has been nailed to the cross between two thieves. Pilate has found no fault in him. Um, that is clarified by the request of the uh, Jewish leaders that he changed the sign that he had put up above Jesus, the king of the Jews. Um, Pilate obviously knew there was something special about Jesus, and yet he allowed him to be crucified. We see very few words at this moment of Jesus which is understanding, understandingly, it's understandable because of the incredible pain and punishment Jesus has endured and suffered for us. I think it's important to note what Jesus did say here. Who was his concern for? His concern was for his mother. He wanted to make sure that she was taken care of. In his dying moments, as he was clinging to life, he was concerned about Mary. I think that just shows the heart of Jesus, the love and the concern that Jesus had for those that were close to him. And folks, the same is true for us. Jesus' care and concern is all about us. You know, as we um, celebrate Memorial Day in the United States, we remember those who gave their lives for the freedoms that we celebrate, that we enjoy. Um, but I think it's even more important that we take time today, tomorrow, and every day 
to truly remember how much Jesus cared for us and that care led him to the cross where he willingly laid down his life for us. You know, scripture tells us that there is no greater love than when for a person to lay down his or her life for a friend. We are the friends of Jesus, but we're so much more than that. The Bible says we are joint heirs with Christ. What a great thing to remember this weekend. The sacrifice Jesus made for us so that we would not be separated from God, but that we would spend eternity with him. I trust and pray that you will remember that as we celebrate Memorial Day. We pray with me? Father, thank you for this somber moment on the cross where Jesus was crucified for the sin of all mankind. Would you help us, Lord, to remember what Jesus did for us, remember his great love for us, remember the great sacrifice that he made so that we would be connected with you for all eternity. We thank you for what he did. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, go out there and make it a uh, super Sunday. Uh, we look forward to seeing you this morning at 11 o'clock at West Shore as we wrap up our series, Never Going Back. And I pray that you will um, join us if you are able. Until tomorrow morning, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with the one who gave his all for you, Jesus the Christ. Have a great day. God bless you. Take care.